Hi boys and girls, it's Piper again. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I have a quick unboxing of the BoxyCharm for this month of December. I am wearing what was in the box today, so I figured it would give you an idea of how this stuff works. Alrighty, so without further ado, here we go. So here's the BoxyCharm and in it, Got a bunch of goodies this, this month. I have to say, I don't have any expensive palettes, so I was really excited to get a nice palette in this. First of all, they give you coupons for HelloFresh, which I already use this place. It's really cool. I, I think it's really awesome that they stick this in the box as well. So we get this. Um, also, 25% off uh, Thrive Cosmetics. Really like that you have that as well. I'm not sure about Thrive Cosmetics just yet because I haven't really tried any until this time. Uh, so we'll see how I how that goes and experiment with it a little bit. The next thing that you get is the Lip Revival from Beauty For Real. And it's like the lip scrub that Jeffree Star has. I know I always bring up Jeffree Star, but it's very much like that. It doesn't taste yummy or anything. It's kind of got an orange feel. It's not as gritty as Jeffrey's. It is, it's kind of reminds me a little bit about Vaseline. So it's not as gritty, but it works really well on your lips. I like it so far. Never heard of other brands um, that had a lip scrub and I'm a fan of this so far. So um, first of all, like I said, we have the card this month. Um, it's called Makeup on Point. You see it? What's really cool about it is this Beauty For Real lip scrub, a uh, full size, is $14. So, I, I mean, you don't pay that much. I mean, you pay $20 for your BoxyCharm. This is already almost the whole thing. So, pretty cool. Uh, Beauty For Real. The next thing that I got was Butter London uh, Nail Lacquer. Uh, I don't know. Ruby Mur Murray. So, I'm not a huge paint my nails kind of fan but I could totally try this it says how much is it $15 no I would not pay $15 for nail polish but hey I'll try it out and let you know how it goes okay so the next thing that I got in the box is a brilliant eye brightener uh, called Stella it is by Thrive Cosmetics. It's kind of a cool packaging. Um, it is very pretty pearlescent. Whoa, there it goes. Pearlescent um, eyeliner. And I have it on my waterline today. It's very chill, which is okay to me because when I use white eyeliners, it tends to be a little bit too bright. So I do like this. It's soft. It's nice. Uh, let's see how much it costs. $24. I won't be buying that again, but maybe with my 25% off. We'll see. It's really good. I'm sure it'll last very long. We shall see. I'll continue to use this. So far, I like it just don't like the price okay so the next thing is what I'm wearing right here I've been wanting to try the Ofra cosmetics very much so unfortunately they're usually very expensive and I love Jeffree Star and that is the only expensive stuff that I really buy so I've been wanting to try Ofra because of Tweely who is one of the beauty bloggers that I follow uh, she's cool as hell if you haven't if you don't follow her you should follow her if you follow her, you should follow me. I don't know. Anyway, she wears a lot of Ofra, and I've been wanting to try it, so I was really excited to get this. The big thing about this is the way that it feels is very much like a Milani cosmetic. So if you're used to buying drugstore kind of things, or if you've tried the Ciatate, Ciate London, um, I also swatched those before in the Ipsy bag. If you've tried either one of those, it's the same kind of consistency. And that's what I have on today. It's beautiful. I, I love this color, but I feel as if it's sliding. But I love this color. I, it goes with what I'm wearing today. It feels really nice. It's lightweight. It's like butter. But it is also... $19.90. Oh, this um, color is Napa Valley. 
So beautiful, but expensive. All right. And the last but not least, the last thing I got is Pure Cosmetics, the Buff Collection. I've heard of this brand before. I've never tried anything out. So this is what it looks like. Never had a palette like this. When you open it up, it's not as beautiful. I've been messing with it. Um, this, is, these are the colors that you get. So definitely a buff color. I also really like the brush that comes with it. So you have something you can pack on the small ones on the inner, in the inside lower, lower part of your lash and then the upper part. So today I used clay for the top. Um, then I went in and I also used Sahara and Mesa and Mojave. Mo Mojave? Mojave? I don't know. Murdering it. But I put those on the bottom part and I wasn't quite happy with the color so it ended up blending a little different. And on the bottom I used Baron. So I have a little bit of smoky. My inner corners are actually from ColourPop. It's one of my ColourPop colors on the inner corners. And my bling is um, Lavender Snow by Jeffree Star, of course. Anywho, so this is the buff collection. I've done swatches for you, so it goes all the way down in the color, so it gets a little bit darker. They're absolutely beautiful. I like this. Um, the palette's $50. I don't think I will find myself paying $50 for a palette. I mean, it's beautiful, and they have a good consistency. They're still a little powdery. Um, they don't even remind me of... Uh, Morphe. I feel like Morphe is even better than this and some BH Cosmetics is a little bit buttery than this. I would not find myself paying $50 for it, but the palette is gorgeous and I'm definitely going to be using it again. It is definitely a beautiful buff collection because that's what it is. Um, but I wouldn't run out and spend $50 on it. I am glad I got it. I'm glad I got to try it out, but I mean... I'm kind of a broke bee and um broke bee because of Jeffrey. Thanks. <laughs> but that's all I got for you today. Uh, like I said, this is about a hundred and twenty-four or hundred and twenty-five dollars in this box of things and and then coupons. So I was pretty pretty happy with it pretty happy with it thus far. Um, so that is the box today. If you have any comments or concerns or suggestions or whatever it is, uh, please comment below. If you like what you see, you like me doing these things, uh, please like and subscribe, join my family, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Hi boys and girls, I am back. I wanted to update you on my review of the Ofra uh, Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. Uh, what, I will, what I will say is that it, it isn't super long lasting. Within 10 to 15 minutes of me putting it on, I felt it bleeding over on the sides of my mouth and I thought it might have been my foundation or whatever it was, but it consistently got worse. I want to be honest, I don't think I'm going to be buying this again. Well, I never bought it in the first place, so I don't think it's something that I would go out and buy for this price, but it, it, it's beautiful. It, it wears well. Uh, it does remind me of the Milani lipsticks. Like I said, the textures reminded me of it. It's very similar, but you can't beat this color. I literally don't have a color like this, so I'm very happy about it. It does have, you can tell, the consistency of, I like what I call icing on a cake. That's what it feels like when you put it on your lips. Anyway, so I will say that I will probably wear it again because it's that gorgeous. But I was very upset that it, it messed up fairly quickly within lit literally 10 to 15 minutes. So I wasn't happy with that. Will I try them ever again? Maybe, you know, um, I think if, if I looked into it and saw different kinds, I would definitely want to try it. I don't have any problems with trying new things, but I don't know if they're all like that either. It is gorgeous. It wears great. I didn't take it with me. If I would have taken it with me today, then 
perhaps maybe I wouldn't have had that much issues. I could have just touched up, not had a problem, but it was kind of coming off the side of my lips, which is really weird. I've never had that experience before. It wasn't easy to take off, but it did wear a bit in the center fairly quickly when I was eating grapes and drinking water. So I don't know, but when I tried to take the rest of it off, it was very difficult. So I have kind of mixed reviews on it. Overall, I don't think I'll spend $20 on it. It's something that it reminds me of buying the Milani lipsticks, so I will pay less than that for it. it I'm, but that's about it. That is all I have for you. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.